Welcome back. In this video, we are going to look at one specific problem. It's a problem called, it's an aerial navigation problem. Now, one of the reasons why this problem drives so many people crazy is because you have to remember when you are dealing in uh, pre-calculus, trigonometry, calculus, so on and so forth, when you are dealing with a problem that has direction to it, then the way you look at your quadrant plane changes. Okay, So what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is we have a quadrant plane here. And when we're talking about direction, well, our quadrant plane, instead of going 0, 90, 180, 270, 360, well, now we have to treat it like a compass. So we have to remember due north. And what we also need to remember is that everything is going to rotate from due north around your circle. So here, our angles are going to start at due north, so this becomes... 90, this becomes 180, this becomes 270, and then back up to my 360. So um, our sh it all kind of shifted. And so that idea is what has to be used. So here I've got this airplane problem. It says an airplane travels at 150 um, hundred kilometers per hour for two hours in a direction of 138 degrees from Omaha. So first of all, we need to look at what does that mean. So start by drawing yourself your picture. So we've got this picture here. And we are going two hours in the direction of 138 degrees. So first I would put in that you know what your north is. And so 138 is not quite to 180, so we're going to fall somewhere down in here. So we would go ahead and put that our angle is going to be down in this direction. And so we are traveling in that direction, and from north to get to here, we went 138 degrees. Now it says at the end of this time, how far south of Omaha is the plane? So what this is telling us is right here, this is Omaha. And we are traveling, and we are traveling for um, 150 kilometers per hour for two hours. And we want to know where we ended up. Okay. So first and foremost, we've kind of got this triangle here. So we've got that this is our distance. And we know that we are going 150 kilometers per hour for two hours. So what we actually have is a triangle here. So we can look at this triangle. We can blow it up a little bit so that we can definitely see it. And we've got that this distance here is going to be 150 kilometers per hour times 2 hours, which gives us a total of 300 kilometers. So that's how much we've gone. Now we need to figure out what this angle is. So we come back to what we did. We know the big angle here is um, 138 we also know that this piece here was 90. So in order to find my theta, we have that your angle is going to be 138 minus 90. So when we do that, we end up with an angle of 48 degrees. So this is going to be my 48 degrees. So that's what this is. So theta right here is going to be 48 degrees. Now that being said, I have two missing pieces. I have an X and I have a Y here. And we want to know first how far south the plane has gone. That's my Y piece. This is going to be my south. 
And then we want to know how far east. That's the x part. This is east. This was my starting point. So this over here is your Omaha. Okay? And then down here is your ending point. So that's your triangle. So if we look at your angle here, what do we actually have? We have opposite over hypotenuse. So in order to find south, we can start with south. We have the sine of my angle is going to be opposite, so y over hypotenuse, 300. So this is going to tell me that y is equal to 300 sine of 48 degrees. So you're going to go ahead and plug all of that into your calculator and you're going to come out with y being 223 kilometers. Now we can do the exact same thing for east. So in order to find east, we have adjacent over hypotenuse. So here we would use the cosine of my angle is equal to x over 300. So plug everything in. We know that x is equal to 300 cosine of my 48 degrees. So we get that x is going to be 201 kilometers. So to actually answer the question, we would have that the plane traveled 223 kilometers south and 201 kilometers east of Omaha after two hours. And there you go. So as long as you remember that any kind of directional problem uses the compass and we shift the whole quadrant system up so that north is your zero point, then you should be able to plug and chug your way through any um, navigational or directional problem. So if you have any questions about this problem or if you need to see any additional or other examples, please let me know. And as always, I would be more than happy to work out um, additional examples. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, remember to be creative, refer back to your compass, and I will see you next time.